crazy mixed up nonsense I'm going to get involved in today. Hi, Clem. Right, Jen. So, what are you up to today, then? No, I'm just going up to the observation deck. Again? Yes, again. Oh, well. See you later. <laughs> Am I going crazy? Or did I really meet an alien yesterday? Or is it all in my head? No, I'm sure it happened. Didn't it? Hey man, <laughs> what you looking at? Oh, uh, hi. I, I was just looking at your ship. Oh yeah, the repairs are coming on great. Just need a few more parts and we'll be all good. So, um, uh, what do you want to do today? Uh, okay. I don't want any trouble. Hmm? I I'll just go on with whatever you say. Oh, sorry dude. This isn't a weapon, it's a portal gun. I got the idea from one of your games. I thought you'd like to check out our pad. Pad? Our space station, man. Is this thing safe? Of course it is, man. That's how I got here this time. Oh, wow, cool. But... I thought we were going to your space station. Yeah, I just need to make one stop first. Oh, right. Um, what the heck is this? It's a cloud you can fly around in like a spaceship. I was gonna take you to the space station on it. Wanna do some astro smashing before we go? Astro smashing? Yeah. See, I found a better planet for you guys, but there's like a huge asteroid field in the way, so I'm trying to clear them out. Wanna come try? It's pretty awesome fun smashing asteroids and stuff. Well, yeah, I would if I could breathe out there and s- Hold on. We're already out in space. How come I can breathe out here? There's a device on the ship that makes like a big air bubble around it so you can breathe without needing a spacesuit. The cloud also has one so you're not suffocating and swelling up with blood coming out of you. Okay, here. okay, I get it. So, do you want to come? Oh, you bet. Oh, wait, where are you going? I just gotta go get something. Be right back. Okay, all set. Ready? Steering wheel? Gotta drive it somehow, man. Won't take long. Kinda know what you mean, this thing's way faster than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. It can cross the entire universe in like, eight days. Eight days? Yeah, I know. It's not the latest model, so it is a little slow. You call this slow? Well, if you think this is fast, wait till we upgrade our ship's star drive, man. Then you'll see fast. Is it hard to drive one of these? Not really once you get it down. I'm actually teaching Red how to drive this. Don't let him know I said this, but he's not very good at it. Well, this is it. What do you think? Wow, that sure is a lot of rocks. How are we gonna shift them? Telekinesis, man. Huh? Power of the mind. Watch this. Pretty cool, huh? Wanna try it? Yeah, but I don't have psycho tele kelly what's it. You do if you wear this. Okay, but what about- Trust me, it'll work. <sighs> That's it, I give up. This thing must be defective. You're trying too hard, man. It does work. Well, maybe it only works for star kids. Red's done it. You what? He got it to work, but he did have a lot of trouble at the start, too. But once he got it, man, he just couldn't stop. 
He had so much fun. So, Red's worn this actual psycho telly what's it watch and it worked? Yeah, you just gotta believe. Okay, I'll give it another try. Don't try to do it, just do it. See the asteroid as a part of you, like an extension or something. Then it won't be like any harder than walking. You don't need to try to make it work. Oh wow, that was so amazing! Who knew smashing rocks together could be so much fun? I knew you'd get it in the end. Didn't know you had your own built-in psycho telly what's it thing. Too bad I beat you at Asteroid Conkers though, but mine completely obliterated yours. Yeah, how about that? Oh well, better luck next time. Hey, don't get cocky, man. One sec, I gotta get this. Be right back. Yo, talk to me. Yeah? They are. Groovy. Okay, can do. Love you too, sis. Bye. That was my sister. She says the rest of the stuff to fix the ship has just arrived at our space station. So if I send the cloud up there, she'll load it up, send it back here, and I can get this fixed. <laughs> and now we wait. Huh. Didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that programmable self-guiding module really comes in handy sometimes. So, um, did she ever get mad at you for trashing her ship? No, she's cool. So how long do you think it'll be? I don't know. Ten minutes, maybe? It'll come back any minute. Any minute. Any threes? Any minute. Oh, come on, that's all you've been saying. I don't think it's coming back. Wait, look. There it is. Told you'd get here any minute. Going a bit erratic, isn't it? Oh, no, Red's driving it. Every man for himself! Brakes, man, the brakes! I got the stuff you wanted! Yeah, and spilled it everywhere! It's okay, I'll get it! Oh, maybe I'll just lay here and wait for the... Dizzy to go. That was so fun! I gotta do that again! <laughs> huh? Are you crazy? You know you're not ready to drive that by yourself. But your sister said I could! Yeah, well she's not up to speed with your driving skills. I'm sorry. Are you? I should be. But I just can't stay mad at you. I just don't want to see you get hurt, man. So, you still love me? Of course. You're like my little bro. Oh, shucks. Um, I'll just, um, I'll just be going now. Oh, you don't have to leave, man. So, who's your friend? Oh, this is my groovy new Earth friend. You know, the one I told you about. And I guess this is red, right? You got it. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, hi. <laughs> um, weren't we going to your space station? Oh yeah, we can go in the cloud. I'll fix the ship later. Ooh, 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 ooh! 
Can I fly the cloud up there? Can I, huh? Can I please, please, please? Okay, okay, but on one condition. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You do it exactly like I say, you dig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going in the middle. <sighs> I like him. He's just like a little kid. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's hard not to like him. I'll get in this side. You cool getting in the other side? I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if this is safe. I didn't know Red was going to be driving. Um, no offense. Don't worry about it, man. As long as he does exactly like I say, we'll all be fine. Yeah, and if I mess up, I got both of you as airbags. Airbags? Well, like I said, if he gets us into a jam, I can get us out. Okay, but you better be right about this. Okay, now remember, put the speed to its lowest and don't floor it. Gotcha, MF. Speed lowest. And go! Dude, I said don't floor it. Oh, don't floor it. Okay, now gently pull up a little, push down a little. Now break. Will I ever be good at flying this myself like you are? Well, I'm not the best at flying one of these either, but tomorrow I'm gonna go out of my way to teach you how to fly this thing. Huh? And if you get good enough, I'll let you take it out on your own sometimes. Yay! I'll actually teach you both if you want. Cool. So, this is our pad. What do you think? Neat. And this is my sister. Oh. Hi. Huh. What was that all about? I don't know, man. You tell me. What you doing? I'm just looking out into space again. I really gotta stop doing that. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. What's on your mind? You look like someone who can keep a secret, right? If I tell you something, you promise not to tell? Yeah, I promise. Even if someone was torturing you really bad trying to make you tell? I'd take it to the grave with me. Well... Do you think that two aliens from two different planets could ever like each other? I, um, I guess. I mean, I'm not from your world and we're friends, right? Yeah, but I mean, really like each other, if you know what I mean. I don't know, maybe? I don't know why you think this is such a big secret. I haven't gotten that bit yet. But you absolutely promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart, hope to... well, you know. Um... Do you... Um... Like... Do you like Moonbeam? Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, she seems nice. Even though I barely saw her. So, you like her. But not really like her. Well, yeah, like I said, she seems nice and all, and I guess I do like her, but not really in that way. I do. I can't stop thinking about her. You're in love with me? You said you wouldn't tell. Sorry, it just came out. You surprised me. Can you tell her for me? You want me to tell her? But it won't mean anything coming from me. If you really want her to know how you feel, you've got to tell her yourself. But I've tried, and I just can't. But you've spoken to her before. Yeah, but never about this stuff. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll go to her door, I'll hide around the corner where she won't see me, and I'll try to help you, okay? Oh, I, I don't know about this. Okay, look. I know you're scared. 
but I'm sure once you get started it will all come out. It's just that first step that's so hard. Well, good luck. Go on! Knock! I can't do it! I just can't do it! You can! I know you can! Okay, I'll knock this time. Oh, she won't answer. Well, maybe she's out. But she must be in there. I didn't see her come out. Hello? Anyone here? I, I think I can do it now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna tell her. Well, what did she say? She's not there. Oh, but I found this note. Read what it says. Oh, wow, this is terrible. I can barely read this handwriting at all. Let's see here, um... If you think you are going to save the human race, think, think again. I have kidnapped the one you call Moonbeam. And if you ever want to see her again, you must abandon helping the humans and let them continue to their doom. Choose wisely. The humans, or the girl. Wow, 